I hope y'all are ready for a doozy of a video today. Yes, I am wearing the same shirt as I did in the last video. I shot that one in the morning, I'm shooting this in the evening. Cause I'm extra hard working and I like to make fishing videos. Welcome back to the channel y'all. I'm glad y'all have subscribed and decided to hang out here for the next little while. One of the challenging things about making fishing videos of this style is that the fish don't always cooperate. But I like to show the successes and the failures because I feel like you learn a lot on failure days. That's pretty much with anything in life, fishing or anything else. It may not come into play on the next round, but eventually down the road, that failure you can learn from will help you out. But in today's video, we are going on a ride of successes and failures. Have y'all ever been to three different lakes in one day to try to find bass? That's right, me and Rob have gone on many fishing adventures, but never ever on this channel have I been to three different lakes in one day. I'm moving back up to a different region, so I'm trying to figure out these places, fish as many lakes as I can, and gather as much information as I can. So this was a very valuable day that I took good notes on. It's me and Lunkers TV at our finest, the adventures, the laughs, the everything you have come to expect and uh, love about the combos of us fishing. And I'm holding a jig in my hand. That means it's a good day. Nice and juicy. What are your Ooh. thoughts about life today? <laughs> oh, you just hit me with the camera right off, right off the gate. Uh... Give me three words to describe <laughs> what's going on right now. Uncertainty. That's a good one. That's a good word. Because I have no idea what we're going to okay. face today. All right, let's come up with the other two while we're on the water. Okay, because I it's going to be tough. <laughs> I'm going to give you guys my first impressions. Water clarity is kind of dingy. There's shoreline veg right there. Rob with another full send into the water. You guys know I like to smell. I like to smell my outdoor surroundings. And right now we're experiencing a shad smell. It's kind of a sweet smell. If you're ever out on the lake and it's kind of kind of calm, you'll smell the oils off the shad if there's a lot of them and it smells sweet, kind of like watermelon. If you're ever wondering what that smell is, that's what it is. Anyway, hitting you with that weird random fact right off the bat. Oh my gosh, guys, there's a giant snake. Now, if Flair were here, he would tell you that this is a- uh, Cottonmouth? Oklahoma- um, Rattler? Yeah. That's a lot of snake right there. This is how you know it's gonna be a good Cinco day, right you know there. What? Oh, the boat's floating away. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's uh, wrangle that back in. Wow, that was really delicate and nice. All right, we have got some little shoreline veg. Uh, we're in 1.6 feet of water. Oh, black and blue, probably for this water. I have a fish. You have a fish? Yep, right on the bank. Starting it out as on rock. On rock. I was on rock. Little guy. He had something happen to him. Oh yeah, he got a storm. Something tried to get him. Okay, first clue. 1.8. Ooh, saw a shad out in front of the dock there. Okay. Noted. Got him. First fish. Second first cast. fish. Feels half decent. Really? I yeah, don't feel bad. Third, second cast. What? <laughs> Oh my god, that's why it doesn't feel half decent. Because it's a freaking turtle. Is that your first turtle of 2018? That's the first turtle of 2018. <laughs> Snakes and turtles. Feels good. Feels like a good fit. Hey, rept reptiles. <laughs> Back's really killing me today. Go from that's a fish. Yep. You see that? Oh yeah. Right on the Shallow. Bank. So two fish right on the bank. Right on the bank. Hey, now we're on the right species. Good job, bud. Well, look at this snake. Look at this snake coming at us. Snake? Yeah, another one. Get out of here, snake. This one is not as big as the last one. It's out for a morning cruise. Just Dude, they're shad. They're shad. 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 shad being crowded. I wonder how good the dam is. Ooh, I totally forgot. <laughs> Did you see that? Yeah. He hit it swimming in. I was turning around to look at the dam, and then my line was going, woo! He was swimming with it. I, I was kind of like bouncing it back in. This is actually pretty lucky that I had to work that one. 
Okay. He's on. He's on. Yeah. Good? Big? No. Oh, just like hooked in the weird side mode. That was so weird. How'd that happen? It's fat. That fish is fat. That fish looks healthy. Um, don't know how that happened. I don't know how that happened, but that is one for sure. Our pattern that we figured out in three casts <laughs> is, is happening. First fish on the jig, all right. 25 pound test is good for square ones, right? Always. We are gonna look at our watch we don't have on. Where was I going with this? We've been fishing about uh, 30 to 40 minutes. That turtle set it off. I, I mean, that got the, the pattern going. Realized that the chatterbait was gonna be up shallow, the deal straight away but we've captured how many bass so far four two piece and a turtle up shallow and they've been around points and they have a little hard bottom nearby that always helps the reeds when we first saw the reeds we're like oh man it's gonna be reed flipping all day not the case what happened i searched it it's been like i think i think it's the guy that points things out no, that is a God. little yeah no. yeah if i would have told you yeah, you're probably right. You usually do. You're like, hey, I just spilled uh, dip and glow all over your carpet. Just uh, FYI. Yeah, I would have done that. Uh, I just spilled coffee all over your console. Just FYI. <laughs> Appreciate it. <laughs> switch it up do a little uh green pumpkin blue swim jig here hadn't broken out yet this year have not thrown a swim jig hardly thinking this is good swim jig waters got it yep right on the point i just got bumped too See my face, or, or you can't see it. Oh. Holy smokes, he got that swim jig. Oh, yeah. How's that audio? Oh, it's good. You know, when you got a lawnmower <laughs> next to about 30 mile an hour winds, uh, it's a real doozy. Yeah, I like when there's sprayed grass all over the area. Boy, if you like fishing shallow, you're in the right place. We've been out to the middle of the lake and it's like uh, 20 feet deep out there. It looks like a very soft bottom. I don't think these fish have any reason to be out there. I think they're just gonna be shallow. They seem to be liking this, this grassy stuff right here. This, I don't know what this is called. Let us, let us know in the comments down below. Is it gator grass? I think I've heard it called that before. I'm just not sure, but they seem to like it. So you think about getting the big Costco membership? I'm just going in there and getting bulk. Yes, yeah. Bulk mayonnaise and chicken strips. Are you thinking or are you just in a bad mood right now? So, do you think there's any big fish on this lake? Do you think it's just, just. No. Real question is, is there any food up here? Because we're in the middle of nowhere. That's a good question. I'm a very patient person. I think that's why I can fish with lunkers so well, because we have two different thought processes going on. Sometimes being very patient hurts me though, because in a lot of these videos that we do for you guys, we got to figure out patterns quick, especially on new lakes that we've never been to. I've also fished with lunkers enough to know when he's getting bored and tired and possibly ready to go. Despite all the exciting reptilian activity on the lake, so why not just go Send it to another lake that you know nothing about. Another one that you've never been to at all. Just get on the old Google on your phone and start looking at any type of water and just send your daggum new bass boat into it. Nothing can go wrong. 74 and a half. But boy, muddy water gets hotter way faster. Way faster. You think this is muddy? I don't know. <laughs> Take a second look here. <laughs> My video. So we're here at the new spot. It looks like uh, it's just been dumped by the giant helicopters of Yoohoo and Nestle Quick, the Nestle Quick 
corporation has decided to dump all their leftover quick into the lake. Why would this place be this dirty? Yuck. There she goes. You guys ever have those days where you're just kind of wondering what you're doing with your life? I think we're there. I'm now gonna ask you for your second word of the day for description. Oh, confused. Confused. Yeah, confused. <laughs> How did we get here? Okay, let's begin. Do you want to know what the actual visibility is? Point third, four, four inches. Third look, look at that. Your nice That's green cool. milfoil. It's really strange. Like, that is, that is very strange. What in the world? happened I'm telling you you probably won't be throwing anything here this place got cancer i don't think it's survivable Ugh. i've never been that baffled on a body of water in my life in that short of time my mind was racing i was going wait there's like four different kinds of vegetation here this always means clean water let me break this down for you little educational moment those grass types like coontail milfoil even hydrilla they're like little green combs they are your friends if you like clean water bass love it puts off oxygen in the water and then it cleans the water all those dirt particles that are coming down through the column they get swept in by the grass they get trapped on the leaves they hold that and then you're left with just clean water it's a natural filter it's a beautiful thing and it still irks my biscuits to see texas lakes stock carp in there and then all the hydrilla is gone within like a year or two and then the bass have nowhere to go y'all have ever seen a grass carp eat you know that they're basically like a pac-man with fins you know what i'm talking about but i digress we're throwing the brightest things in the boat that we can it's super windy and this water is just chocolate doo-doo what is going on with this lake? We have to find out why is this water so muddy? There's zero reason why it should be this muddy. Man, I got a question. Oh, is this lake always as dirty? No. It's been, it's been, it's been, what happened? It's been dirty for two, two months. Now. Two months? Mm -hmm. Do you know what happened? I have no idea. Well, we got uh, seven inch rain. We'd never been here and we saw all the grass and I was thinking, oh man, this lake's probably clear at times because all the grass yeah. that's in it. Yeah. Good, good size crappie in here? Yeah. I figure the bass probably aren't going to bite if it's normally clear and now it's muddy. Well, I'm glad y'all caught them. Yeah, you might, yeah. Try, you might try them over there. I, I think we will. If you bass fish. You yes, sir. I'm still kind of baffled by how dirty that water was. Why not just trust the crappie man and his old gal friends? and head to the third lake he was talking about. I think y'all know what's about to happen. Gotta play the wind on this one. Yep. Good. Third lake, ladies and gentlemen. Have you ever seen a sin this full? Full blown effort right here. I think there might be a frog bite out here at some point. 4.8 feet right here. This looks awesome. Bright green grass. I like it. Is there fish in here? Yep. I think there is. Good one. What do you think? Oh, shit. I think there's fish. <laughs> How about that, dude? Yes. Oh, God. Oh, no, 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 oh, no, 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 I think there's fish in here. It only took three lakes. Sometimes you just gotta sit down and contemplate what's going on. This has been such a adventurous exploration, that explora explorationative kind of day. First spot we go to, I think Rob called it, it was like the third pitch. I flip in and uh, slung it in. It broke off. I thought it had it. I don't know. I think there's fish in here. Hopefully it's not one of those things where that's the only fish we catch. It's, this is gonna be an incredible day of exploring and then finishing off, not giving up on chocolate yoo -hoo. We could have took it home on that last lake, went and ate corn dogs. We chose to power through for you guys. Okay. 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 I think we're doing something here I now. Think we, I think we figured something out. Are you, 
He was, he was chewing on it too. I was like, he's got, he's got it. it. He's got he's it. just got it in there. Oh yeah, that's juicy. Hey, yeah, I enjoyed your, I enjoyed your bite. I enjoyed your fight. Have a good day. Look at it. Look at the greatness. It's like a past video game. This is my favorite thing to do in fishing, y'all. It's taking a jig, this half ounce jig right here. I got a craw trailer on it. This is a bluegill color to match all the bluegill that are up in the shallows right now. The post spawn delectables that are up there for those big bass to munch on. Putting you some thick line on there. I got the LFG rod right here, but just your good old medium heavy to heavy action rod and getting in there and busting the, some jaws up. Sometimes that's bushes, sometimes it's dock edges, sometimes it's standing timber. In this case, it was grass edge or a reed line. The technique is a simple pitch right towards the reeds, let it fall straight down. It was about four feet deep right there. Let it hit the bottom, bounce it a couple of times, and then pick it up and go to the next thing. And what you're really looking for if you pay attention to where we're throwing are those little cracks and crevices, the areas that have shadows. Those big bass love to hide in the shadows in the heat of the day, and they're just in there deep. Sometimes it doesn't work out so good, but today we were crushing them. It's like we couldn't do any wrong. We were getting out just about every single fish. I think we caught about 98% of them. And this is why I love jigs. It produces big bass. God, I thought I had a horse. Oh, you got him in the tree. <laughs> did you see that? Yeah, I did. God, got me wrapped. So, uh, fun fight though. It might be a good fish. Yep, that's good, good, good fish. fish. Yep, that's a big one. Big Yeah. Oh my gosh, look at that. <laughs> wow. I got a zombie fish. Ooh. That is. That felt good. Boom. Boom. And then she just running with it. Eating the steak and potatoes. Love it. Go down the road. There's one. I might lose him. Nope. nope. Gonna get him. We're on fire. Did you hear that just pop off that right there? Yeah. Dude. It's like it's like we can't lose a fish right now. We should. Candy crush. Woo. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, 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 <laughs> Dude. How good did that last one eat it? Pretty good? Uh yeah. Had it down? It was interesting. That's what you want. I know a lot of you have said you don't like to throw jigs. Never had a bass bite on a jig. Throw one right now. They start eating that big stuff after the spawn. They get hungry. Whew. See you, sugar. Go. Oh, God. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh, God. Oh, Rob. That was the second one. I thought she was about to bust you up. What do you think? Sling it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Good, fish. Good fish. Oh, that fish donked it, swam out. I had to get a second, second uh, hook set on it, and then got it. Look at that black on the fin right there. Dude, these are chunks. I mean, we're, we're catching 20 pounds easily right now. That's what you want to see. A little black spot, kind of like a redfish right there on the tail. You know what we got to do? Oh, yeah, that smells extra good after the day that me and Rob have had. guy but <laughs> oh yeah baby yeah that's fun I don't think a jig and a frog I mean ladies and gentlemen that's good times what if it was like that around the whole lake just just getting one like every 10 to 20 minutes just a toad all day but it's the whole lake Oh my god, you had a fish on! Jeez. What? 
I don't know what to say right now. <laughs> Yeah, I started pulling back and I was like, uh, it's moving. Oh, that was running. That's a runner. That's a wow. Runner. Okay. Wow. We. Oh. Yeah, these last three we have not really felt. Just been kind of going. You got to go with what brought you to the dance. There he is. Yeah. That's a good one. There you go. Toad. Yeah, I see ya. We call that a quick release. Yep. I thought there might be one in there. Oh, he's running. Oh. Got it. Deep. I love you. I love you so much. At this point in the video, I'm not even sure if it's even worth showing more fish catches. I think you guys get the idea. Well, I mean, other fish catches are always nice, but we have just hammered the jigs until the paint's about to fall off. And we've got a nice little back pocket that could possibly have some frog fish. You know we gotta send it back there. May is usually when the frog starts to come into play. Send it in. Oh. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I just caught that one. I'm, I've exhausted my GoPro memories. Uh, tried to get a frog bite here at the end of the day. There's two jigs in that mouth. That ought to be the caption of this video. We've just jigged them up. Jigged them up in bucket mouths. It's been incredible, hasn't it, Rob? It's been, oh, I probably look really good. You look like the sun. Did good. I think we've had a good time. We're gonna let this fish go. We're good, fish. I love you. I love all of you. I love your friends. I love your family. I love everything about you. Oh, God, Especially on. love that. <laughs> I just cast it way over there. Dude. Is he still on? What yeah, he's we... still on. He's still on. Can do no wrong. You grab the line. Grab the pad. Whoa! Almost. Did you like that? Okay. I call that the... There we go. He's barely hooked. Oh, no. Okay. There he goes. I'm in an awkward position. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, so good. I don't even know what to say, right, quite honestly. I feel it's, good. It's so amazing. What a good day. We, it's one of those days where you just put a W on it. This is, just a like, w. <laughs> this is some George W type stuff. I have to ask you now your third word of the day. Satisfied. <laughs> Satisfied. Perfect. So I think I'd have to put a W next to the day. This is showing the failures and the accomplishments, but today we had more accomplishments than failures. And you gotta love that. We fished a lot, we learned a lot, and we caught a lot. And I hope you guys learned something too. But if nothing else, hopefully you found it entertaining. You know I like making these longer form videos like this where I can kinda sit back and talk about it a little more and reflect on the the exciting things that happened and give a little bit more insight. But you let me know in the comments what you think. Do you like this or do you like just random, random vloggy style? I don't know if that's really a style. I feel like I'm getting old. I'm, just I'm, telling, I'm telling stories about fish. Yeah, that's when you know you're getting old. If y'all are interested in the technicals of the things inside of today's video, I will describe those things in the description box because that's what it's used for. The lures, the line, the rod, etc. Overall, just a good day on the water. Subscribe right here for more action. Speaking of action, see these poles? I can make those things do that. It's kind of like magic. You don't see that every day. The bass don't see it coming either. 